guys welcome back to the channel i just wanted to come to talk to you about this because i think we were caught up yesterday and the day before with a number of things and this one may have slipped us by jamaica experienced an earthquake on tuesday today is wednesday and according to information it was a 4.0 magnitude um, the papers described it as a light tremor but whether it's a light tremor, whether it's 4.0, 3.0, 6.0, 7.0, it is an earthquake and they've been coming fast and furious. It means that we are to pay attention. It means that we are to keep on our knees. I told you in previous videos, I said, stay on your knees because things are going to happen. Remember Christ said he's going to rain on the just and the unjust. It's just that if you're part of the just, at least you know where your protection lies, right? But these earthquakes have been happening and people have been getting visions, people have been getting dreams. And he, do, he did say in his word that in the last days, young men shall dream dreams, old men get visions. So just know that whether or not it's a light earthquake or a massive one, it is an earthquake. They're all signs. Jamaica rocked by a light 0 0.40 tremor. That is how the Jamaica Observer reported it. A light earthquake with a magnitude of 4.0 was felt in sections of Jamaica on Tuesday. Preliminary reports from earthquake unit located at the University of the West Indies, Mona said the quake epicenter was approximately 22 kilometers southwest of Savannah Lamar. It was reportedly felt at 12.30 p.m. across sections of Savannah Lamar, Santa Cruz in St. Elizabeth and Port Moore in St. Catherine. Now, like I said, it was on Tuesday. A lot of people were distracted by a lot of things that were happening. So I guess most persons did not pay attention to it. But I'm saying to you again that whether it's light or whether it's heavy, it is an earthquake and they are coming fast and furious and we are to pay attention. I have noticed in recent times that a lot of persons have been talking about earthquake and tsunamis and they've been getting visions and dreams. People must not laugh at these people. But when people start getting dreams and visions, and God does want a nation before there's any kind of destruction. We don't want destruction. But I'm saying to you, he does warn the people before anything goes down. And these little ones you see are popping up every now and then. Yes, they are warning that something is in the offing. I did an interview with Professor Mitchell from UWI, and he did say, look, the next one could be of the magnitude of Port Royal. That's what he said. I'm going to put the video in the description so you could go back and watch it that was a video i did last week it's very important that you know these things are happening i also saw on sila media that um there was a gentleman being interviewed and i'm going to put piece of the video at the end of this uh for you to see i think it's important and he was describing in his vision about um, a tsunami and stuff like that um coming to jamaica it was really scary for him and I know other people have been talking about earthquakes and tsunamis for Jamaica. Listen, you may want to discard these people. You may want to say we're scaremongering. We are not. We're just keeping you alert and keeping you on the know that these things are happening. You have to be prepared. All right. Share the video so people can get the information and we'll continue giving you more great content. All right. Place your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking and if you felt that earthquake on Tuesday. Thanks a lot for watching. I want the eyes of my people to be open to really what's coming. Because sometimes things come in and we are not aware. But it's a blessing when your eyes can open to be aware of what is coming. I have a dream as a warning that frightened me and get me out of my bed holding on to the wall. I dreamed that I was on the beach. And it looked like the ocean touched the sky. It was a very pretty circle to take a picture. So I figured, let me go get my camera and take a picture of this nice circle. But before I turn around, a lightning strike up in the sky and take down some device that they have up there. What it is, I don't know. But the lightning come in contact with what up there and take it down. And it hit the ocean. And when it get down in the ocean, it seems to explode. 
and it sent off a tsunami upon the land. I stand there and watch, and I believe the biggest mountain that I ever behold was coming at me. That was the wave, so high. And I didn't know what to do to escape this because it was coming so fast. So I run inside the house. You know, as soon as I get in there, I feel the house was floating away with me. I was so frightened and never been so scared. I get up out of sleep and I find myself holding on to the walls. And I realized I wasn't even in the bed. I was so frightened. 